a drug produced by the gut microbiome fights TB. Scientists have now figured out how that drug works. Welcome to Microbial Minutes, ASM's update on what's hot in the microbial sciences. This is the Tripping Up TB edition. I'm Julie Wolf, Science Communication Specialist here at ASM, and today we're going to discuss a paper from ASM's MBio Journal. In this journal, they or in this article, they looked at a product called indole propionic acid or IPA, which was identified in a previous study from antimicrobial agents and chemotherapy, in which a large number of gut microbiota products were tested for their ability to inhibit mycobacterial tuberculosis growth. Those that were able to um, inhibit above the threshold, shown there on the right-hand side with that black dashed line, were then tested for their ability to inhibit other mycobacterial species and for their toxicity against mammalian cell lines, with those that could inhibit a broad array of mycobacterial species, but not be very toxic to uh, mammalian cells, being selected for their ability to treat in, uh, infection. So this product, indole propionic acid, um, is a close chemical cousin to tryptophan, and it was found um, in this screen to inhibit growth and then fight infection, both in in vivo um, uh, cell culture types of infections, as well as in an in vivo mouse model of tuberculosis. In this MBio study, the authors want to look at how that IPA fights TB infection. Their hypothesis is that because of its similarity to tryptophan, that it blocks trip biosynthesis. On our next slide, we'll see a number of different studies that they did to test this hypothesis, starting with computer modeling to look at how IPA may interact with different biosynthetic enzymes of the um, pathway, of the synthetic pathway, which is shown on the right-hand side. Computer modeling suggested that IPA may be an allosteric inhibitor of TRIP-E. Uh, TRIP-E is an anthranolate uh, synthase which is associated with TRIP biosynthesis, and if you don't recall what a uh, allosteric inhibitor is from biochemistry, that's an inhibitor that binds to an enzyme, not at its active site, but somewhere else. It's not competing with the substrate, but can somehow change the conformation or the ability of that enzyme to do its job through interacting with a different site of that enzyme. They showed that IPA treatment of MTB cultures can reduce the intrabacterial tryptophan levels, um, so that IPA does affect tryptophan synthesis somehow. Uh, and they saw that by adding trip to the medium, that that rescued that inhibition that they had seen. And those growth curves are shown on the lower right-hand side there. They also complemented these biochemical studies with some genetic studies by uh, generating mutations in the trip e enzyme. They found that mutations in the TRIP-E binding site for IPA changed the way that IPA was able to inhibit uh, and, in fact, um, abrogated that inhibition. And that uh, mutations that altered the TRIP-E binding site uh, mimicked that same IPA inhibition. And so this really supported the fact that uh, this IPA acts as a drug that inhibits tryptophan biosynthesis through its interactions with TRIP-E. Why is this important? Well, on our next slide, we'll see that there are a number of different publications that have discussed why tuberculosis is still important. One of these is an editorial piece that was published just this last Sunday, which was World Tuberculosis Day, by Tony Fauci, the head of the NIH. In this um, opinion piece, he laid out a roadmap suggesting different means which put together may help us to eradicate the global scourge of tuberculosis. And one of those highlighted there is an increased investment in therapeutic strategies, such as the one that we just talked about, IPA, which is potentially a new drug for TB. The other uh, important piece here is that it really reveals the mechanism by which IPA acts against mycobacterium tuberculosis and other myc mycobacterial species too, I should say. And mechanism is very important because it helps to um, define the exact interactions between a drug and its target, which is important in predicting uh, potential resistance, for example. And if resistance is predicted, scientists can use this information in order to design yet a better compound that may uh, circumvent that resistance. So that's going to do it for Microbial Minutes. Uh, we've learned that a new anti-TB drug called IPA which is produced by the gut microbiota, uh, can inhibit tryptophan biosynthesis, and this shows promise for development into potential clinical trials. 
I'm Julie Wolf. I'd like to thank Ray Ortega for production, and I will speak with you next time on Microbial Minutes.